New York City is a very hot destination, but visiting New York can be extremely expensive. A hotel can be anywhere between $100, $200, $300, $1,000. dollars So I'm trying to find a good, fancy, cheap hotel. That's why I'm gonna stay at a pet hotel. So I'm gonna stay at the dog hotel for 24 hours and I'm gonna review the dog hotel experience for a human being. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, got a nice little lobby. Already, uh, first impressions, smells fresh. Got, oh, complimentary snacks right here. Well, a little dry. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You'll um, be staying with us. Is there any way I can get some water? I can get you some water. Okay, can I get some water real quick? Yeah. No Thanks problem. so much. Oh. Here's your water. Oh, thank you so much. You got thank it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have only doggy bowls, right? Yes, only doggy bowls. And okay. the water is Poland Spring, not tap. That's delicious water. I never knew water would taste better out of a doggy bowl. What are my options? Do you guys have any rooms available? We have uh, three different suite options. We have tons of them available. Um, I can take you down now if let's you want to see. Sure. Yeah, let's go check them out. By the way, do dogs have any like herpes or anything that I can get from the doggy bowls? No, not at all. Wow. So these two right here are our Uber suites. These are the biggest. These are 209 a night. Scale of one to 10, how comfortable this bed is. I'm gonna give it a 10. We got a little teddy bear here that, oh no. Okay, um, do you see this little um, <laughs> hole in its back? And then you have treadmills for like the ADHD dogs? This is our gym called Pant. So it's good for the dogs who um, have a little more energy. Um, we really use it in the winter too when the salt is out there, it's bad for their paws. So they like to go on it, release some energy. This is a step below, this is our sensational suites. And these are 129 a night. And they're that close to the rich dogs? Yeah. Is there ever like a little like they stare out from each other's glass to be like you little rascal? Um, they usually pass out. Oh, they when just they come pass down out. for dinner, they eat their dinner and they go right to bed. Those little paw prints for like crazy nights. You know those hotel reviews where they like flash the light and they see all the sperm. <laughs> Here, if you flash the light, you just see a lot of dog prints. <laughs> Um, and this is our most basic. This is our standard suite. Um, and it's just good for dogs who are usually, you know, um, rescue dogs who don't like cages, but it's just our basic. This is 89 a night. 89 a night. So that's cheaper than most hotels yes, in New York. It is. This is the life. Okay, this dog is like, shh, calm down. Is it living in the ceiling? Where's that noise coming from? <laughs> this one's really comfy and it's cheaper than most hotels in New York. So I think I'm gonna go with this room. How many dogs do I think peed in this bed? Well, actually I don't care cause I'm gonna be peeing in this bed tonight. So. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be quiet. This is better than my apartment. In New York City, you can't get a room this big. Do you think it's gonna be weird doing a conference call from here? So now I'm gonna check out their room service. I just asked for some food. I said, surprise me, bring me whatever you guys have. Oh my God. And it says my name on it. Thank you so much. Smells fresh. This food is way more fun than like a dish. Like I don't want steak. Cause you know what you can't do with steak? You can't take it like this and you can't be like, mm. I'm not even joking. This doesn't taste bad. Okay, I think I've explored the room. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna check out what else this hotel has to offer. But so far, did she lock me in? Can you open the door? <laughs> A day? <laughs> Please open. A day, open the door. A day? <laughs> All right, I need to get my energy out. Been in this room for way too long. We got some treadmills right here. I'm gonna explore all the funky stuff this hotel has. So let's, uh, let's see. Oh, I don't think the treadmills are working. I don't need a treadmill. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right, so now I'm gonna check out the lounge area where all the dogs hang out. I'm gonna go meet some dogs. It's right in there. Huge, they got little dogs right here. <laughs> And then they got some big dogs in the back. I'm a big dog, I think. We'll see where they place me, but let's go check it out. So many 
dogs. Oh my god, look at this husky! Full day of activities, I'm exhausted, I'm sweaty, I'm stinky, I'm covered in hair. What does every hotel need? A good shower. So, I'm gonna go wash up, go to bed nice and clean. I'm just getting a shower. I just need to take a shower. I get it, I'm sexy, I get it. You've never seen a naked man before. Okay, so this is the dog grooming section. They uh, cut the dog's hair right here. Pink blow dryer, you can get your nails done. I think you can dye your hair too if you want here. They can like give you different hair dyes. They got all these soaps. This is a successful shower. Um, I wasn't even expecting them to have a shower here, so let's go get changed and go to bed. Okay, that was a lot of adventure. I'm exhausted back in the room, closing the door, and um, I think I'm just gonna try and go to bed now. Uh, oh shit, okay, it's kind of quiet. None of the dogs are barking or anything. There's one dog just kind of moaning a little bit. I don't know if it's like having fun with a little teddy bear somewhere or something, but I'm just gonna try and go to sleep now. I have to go, uh, I have to go to the bathroom real bad. I don't know where, they told me to just go on the floor or get a pee-pee pad, but I didn't get a pee-pee pad. I can't just do it on the floor. Oh, but I have to go poopy so bad. I can't poop on the floor and then have them clean, them up to clean it up tomorrow and like look me in the eyes as I check out. I can't do that. So that's the only minus about staying here because pooping in a bathroom is way more comfortable than pooping on a floor and knowing that they're gonna have to clean it up. I'm just gonna have to hold it in. And this dog has not stopped moaning. I don't know what it's doing. It's everyone is, all the dogs are quiet. Maybe if I moan back at it, it'll stop. I think it stopped. It's 3.10 a.m. I'm thirsty. I gotta go to my doggy bowl. Uh, uh. Oh gosh. Guys, <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Mm. Didn't know you could drink it like that. Oh no. I woke someone up. No. Shh. What if I wake all of them up right now? I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. I'm sorry. I'm going to bed. All right, so it is now 8 a.m. And um, I did it. And honestly, I only woke up a few times. Uh, my neck doesn't hurt, my body doesn't hurt. Um, I think I've gotten used to the smell. Best hotel experience I ever had, right? Like, because fancy, you know what fancy is. Crappy, you know what crappy is. Dog hotel, you don't know what that is. All you know is that movie, that whatever it was on Disney Channel, that's all you know about dog hotels. And now I got to live that Disney dream of mine. I gotta go poop again. So yeah, I definitely have to get up. I think this dog food's acting a little funky on my stomach. All right, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.